Savannah, the brand, mm-hmm. they call me up. They're like, yo, what's up? Uh, there's some stuff we want to do with you, la la, and we want you. To, so we are going to pay you a certain amount of cash. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, say, I, I can't say how much money it yeah. was, but, but so like, but it was good money. Yeah. So a lot of them had, had come from Tanzania. I had done a really good job there. It wasn't a paid gig in Tanzania, but I was supposed to uh, give the young comedians there, some English-speaking comedians, some advice on how to do comedy and how to write for a TV show because I wanted yeah. them to do that for themselves. But then they take care of you the whole time you're there. Yeah. Your food, everything. So it's, it's a good holiday for you to relax. So when I'm there, one of the guys tells me, yo, I think South Africa is the best place to be at mm-hmm. if you want to be a, be a comedian, mm-hmm. an African comedian. That's why English comedy is taking off. Is, is taking off. So... I'll pay for you to go to South Africa as long as you take one of my guys here. Mm-hmm. And uh, we go and we have a good time. And I said, you know, but now when I come now, but at that time, I come back a few months later, Savannah won't talk to me about doing comedy. Mm-hmm. So I do a few videos for them. They do really well. Mm-hmm. They go viral, everything. So now this is like an influencer deal. An influencer deal. Yeah. yeah. So now, I know I'm not a I'm not a guy who, who was posting a lot of you know them they like people who come and consume comedy online you see yeah but then they are like so at that time Savannah in South Africa was having a they are the brand for comedy in South Africa mm-hmm. Savannah in Kenya wanted to go that route but mm-hmm. they didn't want to have the the itakuaje comedian mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. now they they approached me we talked and I was like okay I'll write a few things for you so I had some Savannah videos up top so at the same time my guy has told me. I'll be willing to pay for you, Pale, to go to SA. So now I started to, to having conversations with SA comedians who I'd met would come to Kenya <laughs> once in a while. And we start pangaing dates to go. So, yo, panga dates, we panga dates, we say these are the dates. So, so now my guy Tanzania says, and that date does not work for me, but Nisha panga dates. Now. So I tell Savannah, but then I wanted to go to South Africa. Savannah, like, my manager is like, do this. Tell Savannah, I'm going to get a proposal. Savannah pays for our gig. Ty goes, Ty goes to South Africa. The other comedian in South Africa. And we're going to have a good time here. Mm-hmm. So, so now Savannah said, like, okay, we are game. We'll pay for you mm-hmm. to go to South Africa and everything. So I talked to the South African guys. I tell them, send a letter to show that it's true. That this, so I, I showed them the letter. So I'm booked in places in South Africa. Mm-hmm. So here, so you Cape Town specifically. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, so good. So a few weeks before, like a week before, Savannah is like, eh, propose to Japata. <laughs> what you mean, propose to Japata? Nisha, bro, Nisha, that number that do you have to do your ticket, bro, Nisha, Nisha, book up again, Google. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Do you have to Japata? Hey, man. So I'm generally I'm 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 struggling a bit financially, but but I I've, I can see this is going to be a big deal. Yeah. Like some time we're gonna what I'm talking about 900k. Yeah. Kwenda. Kurudi, me and my manager, we go, we shoot video content, everything. I'm yeah. like, ah, chill. Ah, where? So these guys tell us, uh, had Japata you proposed to you? My manager's like, I asked my manager, did you send a proposal? He's like, me, I sent it Kitambo sana. Like, had Japata. So, someone between my manager and Savannah, yeah. the proposal didn't go through. Yeah. So, dear, I've already been called in, in South Africa. You've already been booked in yeah. for gigs in South Africa. And if I don't go, I'll never get booked again ever in my life. <laughs> yeah. It, it speaks to my. Morality as a comedian. Yeah, yeah. Said, yo, eh. So, eh, uh, you're here. Eh, eh, you may be a sister, I could have Since we are not paying, it's too late for. Someone has mentioned me, hey, listen, this is, by the time we process the things, it will be too late for us to, to go to Savannah. Yeah. Yeah. And the plan, because at that time, the plan was I was going to go, because Trevor was, com- was going to perform in South, in South Africa a few months before. So I was going to go, prove myself. And then Savannah, South Africa would call me to represent East Africa during Trevor Noah's tour. Mm. So that I was going to, to be on a tour with Trevor. Yeah. Like, would I just have a about January? We have two hours. What would I do? I would have done a performance around in a few. Anyway, so Savannah, like, hey, check it. I can pull out. And what happened? Like, what did you ever find out what actually happened? So then they didn't get the proposal. That's what they yeah. told Japan a proposal. And yeah. The turnaround is too. And then we had a change in management. Do you hear is buying us? It's only she does her politics. Me, Nico Papa Pekiangu, Nisha post Instagram. <laughs> what to go to South Africa on Benigoja? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Where? It's the Noah ticket? Yeah. Nico took all the I'm just pacing around. Now, I'm still going to be happy. Yeah. So, that time I think I'd been saving some small, small cash. I wanted to buy a car mm-hmm. at that time. But I just got to pick up the mob. Maybe I'll like a tick. Like, I'll tuna, I, I get set aside a few money. Yeah. Because I want to say that you know what? Me, I'm going to Cape Town. Wapende, wasipende. 
lakini kept on me naenda mm-hmm. i don't know how i'm go i don't know like the kind of after so i told my south african guys that i'm a bit strapped strapped but mm-hmm. uh, could you guys help me out there like ah don't ah, don't worry don't worry you know the comedian's lifestyle is like eh, as long as you got a place to lay your head you'll be good mm-hmm. eh? so i'm like can our niggas they come alive when i say i see that kid too <laughs> <laughs> so but I so I I call home I tell them it's like this the, my my dad says like 10 just tell me this is what I can I can give you mm-hmm. my friends ask I start getting loans from my friends so eventually like me Nisha say my CND my girlfriend at the time she's like we just had a relationship around that time mm-hmm. and she's like so I tell like cuz she's one that had been entrusted telling her about this thing she's yeah. like then she's like hey yo I believe in you blah blah you know like she's like okay she also gives me some small cash to to so now so I I booked a flight mm-hmm. to go to Cape Town and I was just calling to pull out like I was like they are 11 p.m. Mm-hmm. at 6 p.m. for the same day yeah for the same day mm-hmm. KQ so eventually I've got that enough money just to kufika Cape Town then your ticket to go and ticket, come back yeah return ticket in Mumbai yeah so the corner so you know you're going and you're coming back yeah but how I exist there I don't know how going to exist at least for up to let's say two uh, June you're going to come at 10 G's Kenyan mm-hmm. when you land yeah, when i land <laughs> what eventually the car the car that for Cape Town did did so and the so the whole the gap time on my way i'm like oh my god i be, i believe in myself i'm chasing a dream i really believe this so i get to so the flight i got was Joburg then Cape Town mm-hmm. so it's my first time in that country i get to Joburg so now so i can now wait for like a couple of hours and then we go to Cape Town turns out after your flight nilikuwa naenda nayo inaisha joburg so apparently you have to go to another <laughs> airport to get the flight to cape town that yeah. i paid for kq did tell me that kq just gave me a ticket that goes on the washakulipia yeah. kwenye so the, the airport is called lanzeria yeah so you're in oliver tambo you have to go to lanzeria so i i la sijambi wa bad old step you said the kakula why is the, uh, this this clear was like ah don't worry don't worry it's all the same Hey, see kwa jua see the same. But I get to like so the flight was like at 5 a.m. Mm-hmm. They are going to sound Joe back to Cape Town. Mm-hmm. 4 a.m. because like I got when I be at Cheki, this is a different airport. I come Bali. Call like like far far. I don't think you'll make the flight. But you could change this Kenya. She was your for the ticket to get to Cape Town. Sorry but after eh maze ni kambio ni kambio like so me ni kasema tu Mungu ni saidia hapa. Nikaita Uber. Uber hapo ikaniambia sasa wewe kitu tuta do we are going to take you from i don't think we are going to make it but i'll try i'll try <laughs> to lienda so fast yeah. you know you know the journey for how much mm. 3500 kenya shillings ndio jua how far that between all the tabo but i put a gate to the township zigiro katikati it's your first time una chungulia tv na shida eh 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 brother i'm about to say para tuta tu la i don't want xenophobia mm. i just want to get to the lanzeria mm. so we get to lanzeria airport So I finally get the flight to go to Cape Town. Mm-hmm. When I got to Cape Town, so now you have 65 left. I have 65 now. So now I get to Cape Town. 65, 65 the 500 shillings. Hey, you must you must have ile card here. Pesa, unajile virtual card here pesa. You know the and I think I have like no actually how oh, I forgot I had 2Gs in my card uh, yeah. in So the kafika So the, the guy who's calling me to come and pick me up from Cape Town is is like uh he told me to look for a place on bookabook.com booking.com so you can find a place bloody cheap cheap uzuri huko generally speaking all the places look nice mm-hmm. even if it's a bad place so mm-hmm. i found a place called queen julie so you could mm-hmm. julie what what i don't know it used to be a brothel mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's that cheap <laughs> now when i get there the, the receptionist is congolese so yeah. she sees my kenyan passport she speaks swahili to me yeah ah ile swahili yao ah wewe iko toka kule kenya yeah. yeah i'm like yeah i'm from kenya like, ah karibu sana so the reason that place was cheap was because they were still renovating uko there used to be a bar there and <laughs> kishuka you come with your prostitute down there yeah. but now they have no prostitute at that time and there's no one who could stay there yeah. so mean bango kia two place blind naitwa hivyo so my guy who's, who's calling me is like he can't take me around because he has a family but he mm. gives me another comedian his name is Vafa yeah take this guy around yeah so Vafa comes over to the place he's like hey my man why are you sleeping over there mm. <laughs> I'm like ah mean this is like ah so far tells me listen just sleep over here tonight but uh, you can crash at my house mm-hmm. for the rest of the journey will be here i'll yeah. take you around as long as promise me when i when i come to nairobi you take care of me yeah you see i'm like bra you have been sent by god himself yeah 
So now I crash at Buffer's house. Mm-hmm. He feeds me and he gives me a place to lay my head. Yeah. So now so for the for that tour I've been sorted. Yeah. But I still don't have any money there. Yeah. So now I'm going to perform in places where they say they'll pay you later on. And they're not even paying you a lot of money. It's like some guys will they'll pay you like equivalent of like some places they'll pay you like equivalent of like twenty G's, mm-hmm. other places equivalent of like fifteen G's. Mm-hmm. But you need the money so bad. You yeah. see, but what hard I you have to pay you with your bank. Yeah. You see. And then they have a system there where what a potier code, then you go to an ATM, you put in that code, then you get money from but you know about that system then. So Vafa, my friend, has held me down. A man you just met that day. Yeah. But but we had a conversation about his personal life and we it went really deep and it was like, Yo, I think we need to just come to my house instead. Yeah. So surprise, so when I get to South Africa, the first show, I don't understand the system too well. Mm-hmm. Like I'm still funny. But, ah, because I had missed a show that I should have done the day I was coming because I was late. Yeah. But the Kaskiza, then I, I started now learning their, their culture a bit better. Mm. So the next shows, ah, I, I killed that place. I was like, hey, where is it? Where are you from? Because there was a Kenyan comedian who had gone before me, mm-hmm. but I didn't do too well. Mm-hmm. So they were like, hey, you're from Kenya. Hey, we don't know about you, Kenyan comedians. Uh, then I went and did really well. Mm-hmm. So that was that, basically. I got paid Kidogo money, but I only got paid when I came back. When I come back, yo, my girlfriend is mad at me. Uh, she's like, I don't think you handle money very well. Like, you know, like stuff like, so now to Kakosana mm-hmm. around that affair, yeah, Kwenda, South Africa. She's like... Uh, but what was the issue around handling money really well? Like, what no, was it the... was like, I think she thought I, sh- I, could, I should have handled the Savannah thing better. Mm. You see? But, and I Whose have... fault? Who was at fault for the Savannah that, that, thing? That's a... Off camera, we'll talk about it. <laughs> Off camera, I'm willing to talk about this. If you want to hear about the story properly. <laughs> but that became a big issue because she was like, hey, you know, um, uh, these other comedians have just been with the president at that time and you, I feel like you don't have a future with... Like, she, uh, basically, she didn't use those words, but yeah. what she was saying, like, miss you the future, bro. Like, yeah. Ile has to be gonga uko, and they talk about parking Cape Town. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I think the... Po- so the point of that story was when I came back that time from Cape Town, that was financially rock bottom for me. Yeah. I like you had nothing now. I had na- like the money I had coming from here was money for my Uber from the airport to my house. Mm. I got to the house. I found what they say. They've not yet sent me the money still. But even if they send me the money, I'll just pay off whatever debt I have. Whatever you had borrowed, yeah. So I just started my house. Like you've just finished a South Africa tour and you're broke. Like, you've killed, you made people laugh, people, you made so many people happy, but yeah, you, you're, you're, you look like you're not serious with your life. So yeah. that financially, that was one of the hardest moments in my life. Yeah. So now I said, now I had to do gigs for anything. Bro, you could pay me in tea. <laughs> <laughs> and you... You... you, you, you yeah. Like, what's the, what's the sentiment around other comedians at the time? Because I'm picturing, yeah. Yeah. you've done this, you've been the, the, the face of this yeah. big show, this TMI show yeah. that's been good. Yes. You're now in AC, and we all know how we project when, exactly. when artists and whatever's happening. Yeah. So you've been yeah. on a tour in AC. Yeah. They don't know the back end details, so it looks very glamorous. Yeah. And then now you're saying you don't have... Cash at all. You don't have any money. Yeah, like I sat down, of course, I had to do a debrief with the comedians. Like, this is how things are. First, I talked about the comedy first. Yeah. Like, you know, this is how, like, the, the stand-up comedy scene there is so good. It's so matured. They want to do everything they should be doing, you know? And I'm like, Kenya, we sh- if we get to South Africa, all of us will be rolling in proper bank. Yeah. So I'm telling them all those things because they're, they're curious questions. So, like, of course, the financial system as a comedian in South Africa and in Kenya is very different. Mm-hmm. And I think it's, Kenya will get there eventually, but yeah. it was good. It opened my eyes to a lot of... How does it work there? If you're to try and sort of highlight some differences. Uh, first between. of all, it's been older. They've, mm-hmm. they've been there for a long time. Mm-hmm. I, met, I met guys who've been in the game for 17 years. Who, so generally, they have the gift of time. Mm-hmm. Second, corporates are willing to invest in their... Spaces. In, in stand-up. For them, mm-hmm. sketch is not as big. Here at Kenya, sketch comedy is bigger than stand-up comedy. Yeah. Their stand-up comedy is bigger than sketch comedy. Mm-hmm. Then, Trevor, for them, mm-hmm. put a big show a light on South African comedians in general. Mm. You see? Mm. So Showmax, Netflix are willing to invest into South African comedians. Mm. And people are willing to spend money to watch, to experience comedy. Yeah. You see? So 
in South Africa, uh, in Kenya, it was a, in Kenya, we, we depend on, I, I put my stuff online, then maybe a sponsor will find me. Yeah. Uko, it's like, pay me to make you laugh. Like, the, at the gate, you pay money, and it's enough to be like, their audience is big enough. Their English-speaking audience is big enough. Yeah.